Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can move your Steam save file into the hosted server. So for instance, a dedicated server or a community server. So my world is pretty simple. I have a PAL box, I have the working bench, one lamp ball and a bed for my PAL. And we are going to try and move everything into my hosted server. So of course we need to close our game and we're gonna start by going to the save file that is on Steam. We're gonna use Windows and R key in order to open this, uh, this folder over here. So use this text in order to immediately open the save files of Palworld. Now we're gonna enter this folder with these numbers. And in this folder you will find all world data that you have stored so far. Uh, in this game and we are mostly concerned about the uh, the most updated Folder simply because this will be the newest so if you have just played on your, your world Then this is an easier the easiest way to determine which folder uh, we are interested in This one is the newest so I'm gonna use this one and over here. What is important is that well, we have a save file or save information about our player and that is stored as the zeros and one at the end and we will need to convert that into a proper id uh, otherwise if we simply just copy and paste this world uh, onto the hosted server then we will lose access to everything we had so far so we are trying to fix that and here is what you need to do. First of all, we need Python. So we need to go to python.org slash downloads. And over here, we need to download the latest version uh, of the Python. So if you're on this website, you can click on download Python. And over here, we need to simply save it and install it on our PC. Then we also need the uh, Unreal Engine Safe Editor uh, for the save files. So we need to go to this link, to this GitHub, and uh, of course you will find the link in the description. Once you are here, you need to go to the right side of this website and then click on releases over here. And now we need to download this, uh, the latest version, and we can download the zip file. So click on this name and we will start downloading this zip. Unzip the UE safe to have it in a folder. You can place it pretty much anywhere. Now we need to copy our world from our single player or local co-op. So I'm gonna copy this one and then I'm gonna paste it onto the save game folder on the hosted server. So I'm gonna go to PAL, saved, save games, zero. And over here, I already have one save file so I can just remove it. Uh, and I'm gonna paste this one over here. Now let's focus on the hosted server. So I'm gonna minimize this one. This is the hosted server, keep in mind. Uh, we're gonna go back a little bit and instead of going to save games, we are going to uh, config over here, then Windows server, and then we need to find a game user settings uh, file. So this one over here, and then we're gonna open it and uh, use any text editor that we have. In this file, we will find dedicated server name and bunch of different characters. We need to edit this one. So let's go back to save games and we need to copy this, uh, this string of text over here. This is the uh, server name that we're gonna paste. So let's open the INI and re let's replace it with this text over here and then save it. In the save file, we want to go in and we will find world option.sav. We want to delete that file. Now we need to join our server. So we are going back to the folder where we have the executable, and then we need to start the server. Keep in mind that when you join, you will not be in your main character. You will be creating a new one, but that's completely fine. We want to create a new character. So in Palworld, go join multiplayer game, click OK, and then at the bottom over here, paste your IP and connect to the server. 
So let's create our character and then we're gonna check if the world is actually there. So let's spawn right here. And I think I can, yeah, I can see that my stuff is still there. And as you can see, of course, I don't have everything. I'm still level one and I don't have anything unlocked. This is like a new start, but my world is there. So now we're gonna fix that and we're gonna get back our progress. So let's close the game and let's close the server. Now we're gonna go to the save game once again and we're gonna go to players. And then over here we will find now two SAV files. One is the previous one that we had before when we had uh, our world in a co-op or in a single player. And this is the multiplayer account that we just created. So now we want to copy our save file. So go back to this folder over here and then copy your world and paste it into this UE save folder that we created before like so. Also remember to create a backup. This might not always work. Sometimes it might be bugged and in not every case can be successful. So just keep in mind, always have a backup. Now we need to open this GitHub website where we have a so, uh, host safe fix. We're gonna click on this py file over here and then we want to click on this download file uh, icon. Click on that and then we want to save it in the UE save folder. So this is where the file should be. Once we have that, open the Windows PowerShell. Now we need to get the path to the UE save folder. So click over here, then copy this link and then type CD space and then paste the path and press enter. Now we should have PS and the path that we just entered. And now we need to use the Python script. So we're gonna type Python and then name of this file over here. So we can even copy it and paste it like so, dot py. And now after that, we need to copy once again, the link, sorry, the path, paste it over here, but at slash uesave.exe like so, space. Then we need to paste the path once again slash and this time we're gonna use the folder name over here so let's copy this name and paste it after the slash like so space then we go into our folder players and first we copy this new sav file that we just created not this 0000 001 but the other one copy it copy its name paste it space and then copy the uh, the local SAV, so the first one that we had before, and paste it like so. So this is the whole string, this is how it should look like. After that, press enter. We will see this warning message, running this script will change your save files and could potentially corrupt your data. So this is what I said. It is highly recommended that you make a backup of your same folder before continuing. Press enter if you would like to continue. So we're gonna press enter and now this script will change some things for us and in my case it was pretty quick uh, but if your world is uh, pretty huge and then it might take some time to actually complete it you might see this uh, message changes have been made and nothing else after that so you need to be patient you need to wait until this the rest of it will be generated so json files have been exported and so on and so forth and you will see the message fix has been applied have fun. This is what you need to wait for. Once you see this, we can close the PowerShell. Now we're gonna go back uh, to the uh, main UESA folder and then we need to copy and paste this folder onto our host. So over here I have this uh, working, uh, well almost working um, uh, world that uh, we were just in but without my main character so i'm gonna delete it and then i'm gonna paste it uh, from the us safe that has been uh, converted so now when we go over here we go to players we should have only this sav file and nothing else and now we can go back and start the server once again once the server is running we can join it and that's pretty much it
Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye!